What's the password? What's the password? Oh, look at this! Another box! Oh, I'm so excited! This came in from T Cat in Pennsylvania, and he's got Wack a Lack and Jack Attack! The Supper Club and Mick and D! <laughs> on the house oh <coughs> now if you haven't seen him i don't know i i think he's going by t cat now name that old johnny gave him because he is in the air force he served the country and he was flying t cats so this guy came out there's cop and let me tell you his videos <laughs> I love, they're very funny. Uh, old T-Cats, he's a chip off the old block here. He's missing a couple marbles. And that's why we get along so well. I love this guy. He is such a big supporter. And he does some great videos. And he's got some really cool collections. Not only cars, but he does military and police things. First responder stuff. Oh, go check out his channel. T-Cat, man. <laughs> Let's dig into this. Thanks, T-Cat. Rock on, baby. Rock on. The Chimichanga Choo Choo Train has brought us a box. Oh, Johnny Roman here, and it's a mail call day. Look at this. Whew, we got box upon box upon box. <laughs> it could be old, it could be new. This is a box that's just for you. Thanks for sending stuff to the supper club. We love it. Oh, let's dig into this baby and see what we got today. Hey guys, on a serious note here, I, I just really got to thank you all for just the support and encouragement. Even you guys are watching out for me uh, when people are like ripping off my videos and putting them on their channels and, and not giving me any credit or stuff. Or just watching out for haters that come into the supper club and you know they're out there. They just, they can't relate. They, you know, their, bundy, their undies are in a bundle or something, you know. But I just can't thank you all enough just for the support, encouragement, the things you send out and stuff, and the words of encouragement, the emails that you send me, and all that other stuff. It gives me the energy to keep going, so I really appreciate it. Okay, let's open this up with the handy dandy number 11 X-Acto blade, which has become so, almost the extension of my own finger because I use one so much. Uh, a little bit more back in the old days but there's nothing like a sharp blade oh ho, ho, ho. hang on baby hang on oh <laughs> t-cat you are unbelievable I know I was you said you would send this it was great but you added in some cars for racing, you added in something for Trixie, and you added in something for the three Musketeer Cats. <laughs> the party mix! Friskies! Ah! Oh. Now T-Cat says he has a bunch of cats, a parrot, and all sorts of things. I love seeing his cats in the videos. If you're a cat person, you understand. If you're a dog person, you're like, I don't get it. <laughs> But we enjoy all animals. Look at this. They are going to go crazy. I'm going to see if I might go nab one of my felines, my favorite one, the one that has attached itself to me, and see if I can get her to come out here. She'll freak out. She's never been to the supper club because it's a cat, and they're not supposed to be in the supper club. Hang on. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this first before I bring the cat out. Is there easy open instruction? Here's the here's the tab. So you just gotta cut above it. And unfortunately this this is a little dull on the knife ski here. So man, I love being Polish. <laughs> it's like I'm a hidden hidden Polish person because my name was changed. Remember that video? Okay, so here we go. Oh, look at all that nummy numbers. So I'm going to leave this open here 
so that maybe she can sniff it when she comes out. Hang on. Oh, so I got my cat here. She's freaking because she's an inside cat. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look, look, look. What is that? She's too freaked out by the surroundings. Oh. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, don't you want a treat? She's done. Dumb. <laughs> Let me see if I can get another cat. The one that always eats. He's a little bigger one. Hang on. Now this is Soda Pop's cat and he likes to eat. So let's see if he can get him to eat. Look. I think they're too new to the supper club so they don't know what to do. But let me tell you, in, the, in our home, they'll love these things to get. They're just freaking out a little bit. <laughs> I won't even try the other one. The other one is like crazy uh, skittish. So, oh, what is that? <laughs> and down he goes. <laughs> oh, thanks, T-Cat. I got to get these cats back into their home environment so they're safe and happy oh my gosh that is too funny I took that little handful that were was on the counter here and and put it in the house on the on the floor for them and they they all started eating like crazy they were just freaked out oh look at this tea cat too kind too oh look at this this is amazing so much fun look at this oh oh, oh static clean <laughs> now tea cat loves to hit the antique shops tea cat you gotta come to chicago baby We'll go out to that Volo Antique Mall. This is crazy old school. 66 Chevy Nova. Look at this thing. This thing is beyond gorgeous. Oh, are these to open and race or do I have to keep them in the case? Oh, D case. 66 Nova. This is from 2018. Oh, uh, T-Cat, I might have to open these. These are so cool. Look at this. Mercedes AMG AMC G T3. <laughs> what is that? Some like kitty rhyme? Race day, baby. Race day. <laughs> oh, we're going to race this. This is from Case D also. You got some peg uh, wear on that shifter. Oh, look. Oh, good. We got a little uh, play in this one. So that one we can race too. Oh, oh my gosh. This is for Trixie. She is going to love this. Now, I've been looking for one of these on the shelves. No luck. Barbie Dream Camper. Very cool. Look at that. Ah, oh, T-Cat. This is just perfect. This is, come on, 2020. So this is new this year. Just beautiful. Look at that details in there. I know a lot of us have girls out there and grandkids, granddaughters. Oh, look at this. This, I mean, T-Cat, you don't know how happy I am to see this thing again. Hold it in my hand. I had one of these as a kid. This was the packaging I would buy it from. It was Harry's Hobby Shop in Des Plaines, Illinois. And our dentist was right by there. And my mom would bribe me by buying me a 
mini tank or a Hot Wheel car. The mini tanks were just a little more expensive, but going to the dentist was pretty gross. And my dentist had hairy fingers. <laughs> and that's pre-gloves, pre-mask, pre-everything. He was a interesting folk. But Harry's Hobby Shop in Palatine, Illinois, they're not there anymore, but he had every airplane imaginable hanging from the ceiling. It was so cool. Oh, look at this huge Tiger tank. Tank destroyer, hunting tiger. Oh, I'm speechless, T-Cat. This is like the coolest thing ever. And in the, in the package, I mean, it's just not value-wise for me. It's just memory-wise. Because, you know, <laughs> all my stuff, it's like, yep, I pay about a buck for it. So this for a buck, unbelievable. I wish there were more of them. So cool. Look at this. And this is what it's called. Holds them from flopping. No, that's not what it's called. It's a Jag Depanzer. Oh, <laughs> the, I got a little spittle on my camera windshield there or my screen. <laughs> ah, look at that. So many cool. Oh, she's just smelly. Looky, looky, tookie, tookie. T-Cat is taking care of one of your favorite movies. Look at this. It's the Blues Brothers 2000, and I agree with you, my friend, T-Cat. The first one is better, but still, it is a Blues Mobile on the card, and I do not have this one. This is so cool. Johnny Lightning is rocking the house. Hollywood on wheels. Authentic replica of famous TV and movie vehicles, die-cast metal, body, and chassis. Bonus show car. Duh. <laughs> Real rider wheels on that. Look at this thing. Now, like I said, T-Cat, go check out his channel because, man, I wish he had uh, some uh, some of his original... <laughs> videos there he was captain uh was it captain diecast at one time <laughs> and he would wear a helmet a army helmet one of his vintage helmets and tell stories and stuff and he's really quick-witted <laughs> t-cat you are so stinking funny <laughs> and i'd be laughing the whole time he did a wizard of the wizard of oz themed video <laughs> about a couple months ago <laughs> I'm telling you the brilliance and what he thought of to make it all work out is just so funny. Go check him out. Here's all the here's all the movie cars. Back to the Future, Monkeys, Partridge Family, Starsky and Hutch, Blues Brothers, Andy Griffith, Dragnet, Blues Brothers 2000. The Starsky and Hutch one would be cool. I think I've got the Partridge Family. I might have the Monkeys. I might have the Back to the Future. Those are in bins that are coming up that I'll be going through. Collect all eight. See the back for models. And then, again, some of these clubs, if you join the clubs, who cares how old you are, they'll send you catalogs and magazines and stuff like that. Sometimes you get a, you know, for a small fee, whatever the price is, you get a car that's a specialty car. Aw, oh, T-Cat, these are so cool. Look at that. You got uh, Barbie for Miss Trixie. You got the Tank Destroyer Super Panzer Tiger. Or Super Tiger Tank. This thing is just so cool. And these boys that are going to be open right now. And we're going to race them. It's like you almost started to open them for me. <laughs> or maybe someone in the pegs was going to steal it and someone walked up and they put it back. Oh, look at this thing. This thing is definitely going to be fast on the track. But 
Oh, look at that low scoop on there. That might hit a bump in the road. And this. I hate to open it, but I gotta. It is so cool. I gotta hold it. You know, sometimes you just gotta say cars were made to play with. And to see them on the track. I'll sacrifice my car so you can see it on the track, baby. You keep yours in the package. <laughs> Look at this thing. This thing is just gorgeous. So old school. Painting on it. Just fantastic. I love everything about this baby. You got old school against new school. This is 2008. Six. Made in Malaysia. 66 Nova. <clears throat> oh, look at that Roco mini tank. That... <laughs> You don't know. <laughs> yep, it's the simple-minded people that make the world go round. <laughs> Let me tell you, it doesn't get any simpler than my mind. So, this is a 2016 Mercedes AMG GT3. It's like a Three Stooges, like a uh, skit. B A B B A B B I B I B O B O B I B I B O. Remember that one? <laughs> Here's Malaysia. Anyways, <laughs> I regress. I regress. T K, thank you so much. I really appreciate your note that you've got here for me. You are rocking it. I just really appreciate your heart. Uh, I do hope you come to Chicago, man. Let me know and head out into the suburbs towards the Volo Antique Auto Museum and I will meet you there and we will go check that thing out together. It, it might take a whole weekend. But you got my email, man. Let me know when you're coming. <laughs> we'll rearrange schedules. So we got the party mix that the cats only like eating in our house, not in the supper club, because a place, the supper club is not a place for cats. I'm telling you, they, they jumped on those things once they were, but they never come into the supper club, so they, they got an excuse. Oh, uh, T-Cat, look at this. I want to open this, but it's not mine to open, but we're going to go racing. Hang on. So Alan was talking about uh, Grandpa Roman's stories, <laughs> which he liked to hear about. So there's two <laughs> that I'm going to share with you. Inspiration from T-Cat here. Oh, look at that, T-Cat. Welcome to the supper club, baby. Welcome to the supper club. <laughs> We're all in here. So the story is two stories. The first story is, growing up, we had a cat and a dog. And the dog would eat all the cat food, right? So, what my mom would do, she would actually have, she had a little bowl that she got from the dollar store, you know, or a thrift store. And we fed the cat in that bowl on a placemat on the table. So the cat would jump up and be on the placemat eating out of its food and then every time dinner came you had to wipe down the table and and redo the you know put the food away well she would always put the food on top of the toaster that was just sitting on the counter the 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 placemat the bowl and the food all on top of the toaster so one day my mom when she made a salad she put everything in there nuts and slivers of carrots and she would chop up you know little this and little that and have sesame sticks and so they were having a party one night and one of their friends good old jimmy boy jimmy z he came over and he had a few to drink <laughs> and he's like oh look at this salad and he reached the cat bowl. The salad was being made here in front of the toaster. And the cat food was right here. And he started eating the cat food saying, oh, what is this? Because it was like, he thought it was like my mom's health food something or other. Like sesame sticks or something. And they let him take two or three bites. And they said, hey, Jimmy boy, 
You're eating the cat food. <laughs> oh, they let them take a couple bites before they told them. <laughs> and everyone was laughing so hard. <laughs> the other story is when my mom and dad retired back in the day. Now, my dad's almost been retired as long as he worked. He is 93 years old, which is just amazing and still kicking it. Strong, doing well. Well, when they retired down to the south, into South Carolina, they, they got a house that was big enough to take my, my grandma with. So, Soda Pops and Trixie's great-grandma. Well, they would go to a din dinner party, and whenever they had to leave, they always used the excuse they had to go home and feed his mother, my grandma. And they'd be like, yeah, I got to go home and pop a can of Alpo open for my mother so she can eat tonight. <laughs> like, he said, and he would say it with the straightest of face. Now, my grandma was well-to-do. My dad had, you know, he was well-to-do. They were not struggling whatsoever. <laughs> and, and the circles they ran in were really nice people. <laughs> They would just look at him, and he and my mom would keep as straight a face as possible. <laughs> oh, it was such a, it was such a crazy thing. The other story <laughs> that they used to do is, they'd always have these cocktail parties, and with these cocktail parties, they would sometimes, you know, it would be a birthday party. Well, with the birthday party. They give presents, and so my dad again. They ran in higher society circles. My dad would buy the cheapest gin that he could find. It was literally like two bucks for a bottle of gin, and he would soak off the the uh, federal label. He'd soak that off carefully and let it out to dry. Then he would take the the bottle, open it, pour out all the gin or I don't know what he did. He probably just poured it out. And then they washed out the bottle really, really good and just washed it several times. They filled it with water and they went to the, the pet store and got one of those uh, goldfish that had the big goopy eyes like this. And <laughs> it's all multicolor. And they put it in the bottle. <laughs> and then they seal the bottle up and then glue that, that stamp back on and then my mom, she was just like famous for wrapping. She wrapped up the bottle so it was like a super expensive bottle of, of gin. And so the people would open it and they'd see this beautiful package and unwrap it carefully. And she'd always have like little twigs from the yard or flowers or leaves wrapped into the bows. I mean, it was just like super naturalistic stuff. Well, they'd open this bottle, and they'd look at the label. Now, again, this is after drinking for most of the night. They've probably had two or three drinks already. So they open the bottle, they look at the label, and they go, Oh, thank you. They enthuse, even though they know it's like the cheapest garbage alcohol they could have found. And then they take it, and they put it on the table next to them. And then partway through the night, again, my parents were great at this. They'd just keep quiet. And then partway through the night, the person whose birthday was would be always looking at the bottle. Because the fish is swimming around there and they catch the movement, but then the fish would swim behind the label and they couldn't see it. And they're drinking more and more. And then finally towards the end of the night, they, pick up, they realize there's something alive in there. They pick it up and turn it around and they see this googly-eyed fish that looks like it's as bombed as they were. And then they'd all laugh. It was so funny. And then we get another fish for the fish tank, you know? It's just so funny. I'm telling you, they had some good stuff. So there's your Gramps story today. From old Gramp Johnny Johnny Roman. Ah, uh, so that is too funny. T Cat, you just blew my mind with these. So, all that jibba jabba jibba jibba jimmy, <laughs> let's go racing, baby. Hang on. Oh, man, if this Tiger Tank, Tank Destroyer, had a projectile missile, 
we'd be opening that thing and setting it next to this track to see if he could hit one of these cars as they go down. Oh, hang on. My umbilical cord has to come out of the drawer. Oh. Remember. Always remember God. <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. The inaugural tea cat race on the old supper club race track oh here we go t cat ready set go Oh, T-Cat, I knew it was going to be a cool race. Because it's you, man. Oh! <laughs> Two in a row! Oh, T-Cat, this is spectacular racing. Ah, that is so funny. Oh, squeaked by and flipped over just like in American Graffiti. Oh, so let's do it again. Whenever I try and get a close-up of the wreck, never works. Oh! <laughs> he came off the track and sliding sideways. Track separated again. I know, I know. I just got to glue it down, but I'm not committed to gluing this baby down. Oh. Oh, just squeak by these things are sharp and fantastic racers. Aw, uh, T-Cat, I can't thank you enough. Are you saying to your parents, I'm bored, I got nothing to do? If you're bored, got nothing to do, be it summer, spring, fall, or winter, well, let me tell ya, there's more than just riding your skateboard. Everyone is bored to death. Look at all these people. Another place to go is Johnny Roman's Supper Club, where the excitement is fantastic! Hey, cats and kittens, it's a toy car case event. Oh, there's races and cars of all eras! Oh, visit the toy car case on YouTube! Become a subscriber so you don't miss out! Be a cool kid on the block! Tell all your friends! So don't let your days be boring and wasted away! Come to the supper club and play! Everyone is crowded and heading towards the supper club! Join us! Subscribe now! Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be! Cause life starts after 316! I was going to put some of these images up on Instagram of these cars. But my silly iPad, every time I bring it out to the supper club, it goes dead. Like instantly. And I think it's just like, it's just cold. And I know it's a sunny day out and all that, but I don't know what the... What the heck? So, anyways, T-Kit... Thank you so much for this box. The note, the note is awesome. I just really appreciate all your thought that went into that. 
I can't thank you enough for all these cars. The cats, I'm telling you, went nuts as soon as I brought them into the house. And they, they had their ability to eat these things. They were all over it. And it's real ocean whitefish. Number one ingredient. This just, this is like the coolest thing ever. These will always be the coolest thing ever for me. Maybe I'll bring them out again and do another video. Look at these killer race cars. And you saw all those crashes, those inaugural race crashes, and no chippy dippy. No, this, these, this paint was made to last. So when you get a car with chips and dips, it's been through an abusive relationship, and we don't like those here. So, try and keep your Hot Wheels chip-free, but we understand after years of playing with, everything gets little whack a lag and jack attack baby. Now, T-Cat, <laughs> I know this ain't no Mickey D's, but you ready? We're going to celebrate with going to... Mickey D! <laughs> oh, T Cat, this is so cool. I am trying to put together a video for Shiz Snaily. Shiz Snaily, or She Snaily. Shiz, She's Shoes. Snaily and the Blues Brothers. Because, let me tell you, it was filmed all around here. Not the original Blues Brothers. So. Anyways, they were filmed around here. Rock on, baby! I gotta run to the phone! Rock on! I'm back. Where was I before I got so rudely interrupted by an electrical uh, call? Robocall saying, this is an apology from your electric company. Switch over to ours! <laughs> Anyways... T-Cat, the Blues Brothers original movie was filmed a lot through Chicago area and I was trying to go see a couple of the spots and video them, but man, with this pandemic and all this craziness, it's hard to get out to get into certain places because they're closed. So, this will help in the video. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's a cool car that I don't have in amongst all the cars I do have as well as this one and I don't believe I have this or this because they're newer and this I lost many years ago so this is a replacement to a toy that I had from my original collection ah oh, thank you again my friend thank you again remember everyone go visit T cat go visit all our friends at their channels. T-Cat is pretty uh, faithful in posting videos. Um, he's not, you know, he, like he told me, he's not making this a career or anything, and none of us are, but he loves cars, he loves videos, and I think he's very creative with what he does. So go check out T-Cat next time you see a comment, and uh, check out his channel. Go way back. I'm telling you, some of his Early stuff was really funny. I hope he transfers those over, but I don't know if he can or not. But he was changing his channel name as often as I brush my teeth, like three times a day. So, <laughs> anyways, I think he's stuck with T-Cat, so we're blessed to have that in the rally. So, let me give you a proper goodbye. <laughs> as Lola... Our neighborhood dog always has to do. She has to give us a proper goodbye before she can leave. So, thanks for coming into the Supper Club. T-Cat, I can't thank you enough for this box of goodies. So much fun. So cool. So thoughtful. Oh, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys and gals, cats, kittens, Elliot's and Maisie's, uh, Adams in D.C., Saul's overseas, and K's with the super duper displays, and T-Cat, who used to fly T-Cats. 
Rock on, my friends. All you guys, gals, and everyone. Thank you so much for sticking around at the old supper club. Remember, life doesn't start till after 316. Go check out Fireman Food 1988. Or Cancel Fireman. Or the original Fireman Food. Oh, oh, oh T-Cat, you made my day. Now it's time to party! I hope you guys have a safe... <coughs> safe day? <laughs> safe week? I don't know when this is going to post. <laughs> but let me tell you, we still have this bag and one of, one of my workers, fellow workers, handed me a couple of cool, fun cars on Friday. Last Friday. So... We're going to look into those, too. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Rock on, my friends. Rock on. Oh, look, we're in the house, and look who's all come now that they heard the bag go, but they freak out at the supper club. Oh, look, now they're happy. Oh, <laughs> T-Cat, thank you very much. The cats love the Friskies. But they got to be at their own table. They can't be at the new supper club table. They don't like it. <laughs> but anyways, they are totally loving this. So thank you again for thinking of the kittens. They are so happy. <laughs> kittens, thank you. The kittens, thank you. Big Mama, thanks you. Big Mama, thanks you. Trixie thanks you, Soda Pop thanks you, and Sandy thanks you, and I thank you. <laughs> you heard Big Mama giving me all the lines because my brain is mush. <laughs> oh, you guys want more? Oh, eat and run. <laughs> so that was Soda Pops, that cat is Trixie's, and this one is Old Johnny's. I know you're a toy car case guy out there. It is 316 on old Johnny Clark. Let's see what pulled into our parking lot. Hit that subscribe button and you won't miss out. Don't you wish you had that? This is the place to be.